Hey guys and welcome back to my world. So for various reasons I've been playing with generating um, various entities uh, and various kind of complicated entities. So I thought what I'm going to show you today is the actual uh, online um, generators that I use to actually get these entities in here. So for example when I'm talking about entity I'm talking about something like this. Now uh, you'll see this is actually a free roaming entity. It'll just kind of like wander around and uh, you know kind of just not ignore me okay so there we go see it's just wandering around floating around stuff like that um you'll see I'm, I'm kind of on the same same theme because that's what i'm working on here at the moment so here is just like a floating uh video camera uh and then i actually have a little pet that actually follows me around now this one will follow me around wherever i go uh come on where are you come on come on follow me so this one will kind of just follow me and come to me whenever wherever i am uh all of the parts are uh, as you can see move independently just creating quite a nice little uh, effect oh they they burns up the, uh, <laughs> the camera so the, what's quite cool about my little pet over here is you'll see that it will actually climb stairs come on here we go hello here we go it's climbing the stairs and it'll follow me around wherever I am come on come on don't get stuck there it won't get stuck it'll come up um, there we go okay so there we go so this is um, Kind of what I'll be, be kind of showing you guys is uh, the kind of the generators I use for this. Now this is just one of many, 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 well, that's infinite possibilities that you could actually do. So this is my little steampunk pet, and there's my little steampunk camera running around. Um, so where have you gone? Okay, yeah, S stick with me, stick with me. Have a look. So first off, very, very important. Um, if you go to my website, okay, it's dragnos.com, under Minecraft resources. I've been adding a lot of the resources that I use. I mean, this has been on here for ages. Uh, for example, Minecraft generators, you'll see I've got the... Um, I've just collected all of the various people's things. I've got my own generators in here, like, for example, the the, the, the uh, head, head generator. But over here, I've got something called the Summon Generator Comprehensive, which is, um, which is Bim Bimma's MC Stacker. Now, I know a lot of people complain that this doesn't look good, but this is an incredible tool. I know there are many tools like this out there, and you need to find the one that you like. Personally, I love this one because I can see what it does. I can add my things and what that I want to add to it, uh, and I can make changes in real time. And I've, there's no laggy uh, UI system that loads like, oh, this is an image. Click on the image, and this loads this. This is great. This is straightforward, and I love it. Okay, so first of all, we can do the command type is summon, spawner, give, or replace item. Okay, which is absolutely great. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be summoning, um, and to summon that little the pet that I summoned over there you see there's a little little baby zombie riding the wolf uh, and then there's a little zombie in here as well and then all I've got is I've got particles that is um, played above the wolf so the wolf is playing these particles okay right so let's really go and do that so very very simple so first of all we are going to be uh, summoning a zombie at the bottom here uh, we are going to be doing and we're gonna make it silent Okay, we're going to say it is a baby. We are not going to give it a name. And then the head, uh, we are going to be using skull. All right. Uh, mob skeleton uh, human. So we're going to go human over here. And then over here, you can see the skull owner. So uh, there's he's also actually coded in all of the different skull owner types. So if I'm just going to go golem. Okay. So I've now got my zombie. And oh, yes, what I want to do is I want to make it invisible. So if I go down here at the bottom... Uh, where it says status effects right over here I've got invisibility and I want to do the the uh, amplifiers one so it's just strength one and I want the invisibility to last for a million seconds and I'm gonna hide the particles okay so now I have an invisible zombie okay uh, that is um, has a custom head golem is invisible uh, is gonna make no sound okay now what I want wanting to do is I want to make that ride another zombie so you'll see I've added an entity so if I scroll down you'll see I now have another entity that I can add so I'm gonna do again I'm gonna go zombie uh, I'm gonna go baby uh, is silent now I'm leaving it as AI because I want the head to move status effect exactly the same I'm gonna make it invisible I'm gonna give it one uh, and I'm going to give it four million seconds. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to hide the particles. Okay. This time the head, I'm going to make a. Um, what what do we say? We can we can make anything. It can be any block. So we, let's in this case, what what block can we do that's going to look cool? 
So let's make it a just a furnace, maybe. Just just for now, furnace. Okay, you'll see the furnace is there. Okay, and then all of this, both of these, I want to ride an invisible wolf. So I'm going to do another add add entity. You'll see a scroll to the to the bottom. You'll see there it is. I'm gonna go wolf uh, wolf over here. Um, I'm going to leave all of this. Actually, let me just make it silent as well. Um, I'm going to go status effects effect. I'm going to go invisible. I'm going to go one. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Right, a million seconds. However, over here, uh, where is it? It's got an owner. There's a custom name, attack speed. Where is this owner? Okay, so over here I have owner owner UUID, um, and I'm just going to type in Dragnos. Okay gonna type in Dragnos. I can change the color, but the color, but I, because it's not wearing, a, it's not a color. That's it's fine. We're not gonna, we're not gonna mess around with that. Um, okay, and then there it is. It creates this code over here for you. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm just going to go back into uh, game mode one. I'm gonna pop that down. I'm gonna copy my code into there, and then I'm going to summon my new pet. So there we go. This is how easy it really is to co to actually summon quite a complicated um, entity. Now you can do all kinds of other clever stuff like um, uh, you know doing armor stands and and that's riding other stuff that does other things. Okay, that sounds very strange. But anyway, I mean yes, using generators like this it absolutely increases the speed and efficiency of what it is you're doing and you don't have to actually go and fiddle around with all of these bits it's still very very important to know how why all of these things work so if you do want to go back in and change something you know what it is you're actually wanting to change now um you'll see that i have some custom heads over here so if we have a look at that one over there and we have a look at this one over here uh these are like skins that i i found on Planet Minecraft and the various other places uh, and then I just use my uh, custom head generator which if we go to uh, back to my website okay so if we go to uh, resources Minecraft generators uh, custom head block generator okay you can literally just copy the URL to any skin um, that is like hosted on image services like Imager and stuff like that paste it in there I mean you'll see there's quite a few on there so for example Imager um, and I can then uh, give us item you will see that it'll then actually you know create me the, the give command and if I want to do it summon as mob it will actually uh, okay so let me just grab any head there uh, summon as mob uh, what was this oh this is some oh this is something else I was using so let me just highlight text and I'll show you um, now if you go to that website if you go to my website watch this video this video explains to you exactly how to actually use uh, that particular function Okay, so let me just click it in there, and then there we go. And you'll see immediately the pets will start attacking the enemy. <laughs> Isn't that cool? There we go. So not only do I have a very cool pets and alarm system, but they will attack. Uh, well, they will attack skeletons in this case. They won't attack zombies just yet, but we'll 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 sort that out. Okay, um, yeah, so do go to the website, go check out all of the resources. I mean, there's a lot of people's resources on here. Uh, and yeah, I just want to say thanks to every single person who's ever created anything that I've listed here. You guys have been uh, absolutely valuable in everything I've been doing. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, I will check you all later.